Washington. It is back open for business. The Cox Human Services Center had been closed since last Wednesday when we had that huge five alarm fire across the street that sent smoke so right into that building. Yeah, Beverly Taylor live at 13th and Valite where the traffic has been steady all day. Good evening to you, Bev. Yeah, good evening to you. A lot of people were anxious for the Cox Center to reopen. We are told that there was a 50% increase in foot and phone traffic there today. Take a look at this line. The COGS building reopened at 7.30 a.m. Monday, but people fell in line before that, many needing to sign up for or check on state or county public assistance. Making references here to get um, food share help, um, any type of help that, that's supportive. The center reopened after some meticulous cleaning. The five alarm fire at the building across the street caused an overpowering odor of smoke and soot in the COGS building. About 4 a.m. Monday, crews finished cleaning, sanitizing, and deodorizing the 150,000 square foot building. Just amazing amount of work that happened over the last several days to make sure this place was ready uh, to be open. Cologne says community mental health services were not interrupted despite the closure, with some staff members calling clients from home. And state health services spokeswoman Stephanie Smiley says no state benefits have been impacted by the closure. Also asking that clients not come down to the COGS building for the next couple of days unless they have appointments. Ruthie Price came down Friday and was turned away. And despite more people at the center for a Monday, she says her experience was not unpleasant. Good. I really got through quicker than I expected. As for the cause of the fire that caused all of just the disruption, an ATF spokesman tells us that the on-scene examination wrapped up late Friday. Now other investigations will look at all of that evidence and see if they come to the same conclusion that the on-scene team came to. And he also says probes like this take some time. Reporting live in Milwaukee, Beverly Taylor, Fox 6 News. Thank you, Beverly. A gas leak causes big problems on a busy stretch of road in Wauwatosa this morning.